everyone, it's Joy Lene, and I'm back with a new video. <sighs> Look at me over here being consistent with my video content. Uh, y'all see me? I'll be out here trying to do it for y'all, trying to do it for you. <laughs> Before we get into the video, please make sure that you like, you subscribe, that you follow me on Instagram at pure.joylifestyle, and thumbs up this video when you finish and all that good stuff. Today will be the second video in my wedding series. I am super duper excited to bring you guys on this wedding journey with me and I'm excited that I get to film it and create all of this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, before I forget, cause somebody's always asking. Um, just kind of a roundup of what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing a wire headband. I got this from a local person from Pendarica Ka Cow House. Ka Cow House, I think it was called. I met her at a local farmer's market here um, in the Tampa Bay area. So I will put um, an information to her Instagram down below. And then on my lips, I have my signature KKW nude lip liner and nude three. And then on my lips, I have NYX, Co NYX Cosmetics, their butter gloss. And this is Bit of Honey. I never would have guessed his name. I thought this was like Madeline or Praline, but nope. A Bit of Honey. So that's what's on my lips. Just uh, something simple and then everything else is just lip bar. I'm wearing their tinted moisturizer. Keeping it real super duper duper simple. And this dress. I don't remember where I got this dress. I've had it for a few years. I'll have to look it up and if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And anything that I talk about here, I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. So just keep that in mind as I go throughout the video. All right, let's get started for real. So just a little background story. Um, I am in a wedding in August. So I had to go to David's Bridal to pick up my bridesmaid's dress. So while I was there, I was like, you know what? I'm a bride too now, let me try on some dresses. So I did try on some dresses and I'm going to show you guys the videos. And this will be basically be my reaction to me trying on those dresses. It was it was a lot. It, it, it was a lot. Keisha tried. That's all I have to say. She really, really tried. And I'm so open to what kind of dress I want. I want something that's romantic but also sexy. It could be fit and flare could be mermaid i'm also open to a ball gown not like too poofy of a ball gown not princess type but like it could be a ball gown silhouette i prefer it to be strapless um i really really the main thing that i really wanted was i wanted something with my back out I wanted my back out you could hug my booty hug my hug my my curves a little bit don't accentuate my curves but just hug them because you know again i'm a very courageous girl i have hips i have behind but i also want you to sink in on that waistline which is itty bitty okay um and then my boobs they're just normal you know average size so again but i wanted that back to be out that was the main thing and she could have gone so many different ways but you know let's let's watch these videos and see i'll be looking at my ipad as i'm reacting to it but i'll be doing a side by side for you guys so you guys can see the video and see exactly what i'm looking at and what i'm talking about as i'm going through it you ready Grab your popcorn, y'all. Well, no, don't. Just grab you. Grab something to drink, cause y'all might want to sit some wild with me. Okay, it needs to be said. I am not the videographer for this video, clearly, because I am the one in the dress. Channing, Gabby's mom, is my friend, my neighbor. Um, she is my camera person. She went shopping with me, so shout out to you for working the camera. So I, I don't know how these angles and how these videos are going about to look, but don't come for me. Come for her. All right. So, this is the first dress. And I tried this. I, I got to, but while I was waiting, I got to pick out some dresses. And I chose this one because I was like, ooh, I like the top of it. How, like, you have, like, that crisscross ruching at the front. I thought that was nice. Um, and even, like, the little split. Not split, but the slit in front. I like that component of it. I didn't necessarily want a ball gown because too much material sometimes makes you look bigger, but it was okay. And if you see here, I'm trying to take the straps off because I think it would look better strapless. And behold, if you see when I tuck these straps in, yes, honey, 
it looks good strapless um i like the back part of the top of the back but overall it just wasn't doing it for me it wasn't doing it for the kid you know um the price was right but still it wasn't it it wasn't it and i chose that one that wasn't on keisha that was on me so next one all righty so this dress here who let's pause for a moment let's 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 just pause I like lace. However, there's you have to be very careful with the kind of lace that you get because there's very vintage lace, which is a nice way of saying old lace for older people that you find on, you know, that might be on the kerchief of an older person at church or when, you know, if you've got a short skirt and they give you like a prayer cloth, that little lace, the edging on, yeah, that's where that's from, okay? that That's where that dress looks like. It, it belongs on somebody's, mm, yeah, somebody's handkerchief, so some somebody's prayer cloth that's what that looks like but there's also modern lace that's a little bit more sleek and sexy and not so old looking like i feel like if you have to be real careful careful with lace lace can age you and i feel like i age myself i feel like i'm about to move 45 in this video i did not like not i like the dress let me start playing the video again i like the back of the dress i like that you know my back was out and how it dipped I like the train. It was very, very nice. This was more giving me beach vibes. Like if I was like a 45-year-old, 40-year-old bride getting married on the beach, I'd be like, okay, that's cool. Do it, do it, do it. And it was too big for me at the top part. And then like, so my boobs, like it didn't fit correctly. The lady said I should like folded it in more. That'll give me like a more accurate depiction of what the top would have been like. But either way, it wasn't the vibe I was going for. This was a little bit too casual for me. I wanted something a little bit more formal i want to be romantic and slightly sexy but also i wanted to say bride just saying so that was dress number two moving on to dress number three <sighs> i don't know what i gotta pause for this one i don't know what this woman was thinking when she brought out this dress this was a dress that she chose ma'am ma'am I look like I'm going to prom. This is what women wear, not women, this is what girls, what teenage girls wear to prom. I'm going to prom in this dress. This doesn't, to me, this doesn't say bride. And I don't particularly care for like that champagne color underneath it. I wish it was like white or maybe even like an off-white, but I don't particularly care for it. I feel like it's Golden Globe-esque. Now I like the back, I wanted the back out, so maybe that's where she was going. But it, and it was just too much jewels in, like in the front, the back, and, and I didn't like how it crisscrossed. I don't like anything else about it. I just feel very teenage-ish in it. I didn't think it was flattering on my on my boobs. I'm just. And then oh lord, she putting on the veil. She putting on the veil. They always if anybody that knows anything about bridal dress shopping, they put on the veil when you're in love with the look and they want to make you buy it and they just feel like oh it's going to complete the look. I didn't like this dress. I did not like this dress. She could have kept that veil right on the rack. This wasn't it, lady. She was trying to sell it. It wasn't it. She thought, oh, yeah, your back is out. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This wasn't the dress for me. We're done. I don't know if she was done, but I was done. Hmm. <laughs> Again, the back was super duper nice, but it just wasn't for me. It, it wasn't what I was going for. So moving on to, um, let's see, dress number five. Are we at five? I think we might be at dress five by now. So this dress, again, I said I want it to be romantic and slightly sexy. The words were slightly sexy. Now, let's play this video. Look at this. Look, do y'all like do y'all see are y'all seeing this? This back the tan part that you see here. Let me pause. The tan part that you see is the bodysuit that comes with the dresses. Underneath the dress is a bodysuit built into the dress. So, you know, goes over your breasts and everything. Bodysuit. So the tan that you see is the bodysuit. Now that dark brown shadow, the black stuff, that's my underwear that you're looking at. Play it again. It's my underwear that you see. It's not booty cheeks, but it's my underwear. But if I chose not to wear underwear underneath this dress, you would be seeing booty cheeks. Ma'am, I said slightly sexy. That's all the way sexy. And now that I'm turning around, y'all see the front, it's a deep V. 
And not that you can see too much, but still, V, but what got me, baby, is the leg. That's a lot of thigh. That is a lot of thigh. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of thigh. So, you see my booty cheeks, got my thighs out, and breasts, and part of my back. That's too much, okay? All the church house mothers, all the older people and the grandmas at the wedding going to have a lot to say. And I'm not going to feel comfortable. Me, personally, I want to dance. That's my biggest thing is that I want to dance and have fun with all my family friends. I'm really trying to get down with the get down. I'm trying to, I want a dress that I'm be able to move in, but I also want to feel comfortable in it. I'm going to be wearing this dress for what? seven eight hours i want to be comfortable in it i want to feel comfortable in it i don't want to have to be self-conscious worrying about Ooh, let me covering up my chest covering up my leg and walking real slow because i got a huge slit in my leg i don't want to do that ladies y'all know how that is when you have a dress and it's not secure in your breast and you feel like you got to always pull up your shirt or you feel like you got to hold your leg and make sure that you're not seeing honolulu because the slit is too high that's not the one for me i don't know what made her think that i was okay Cause that's not, there's nothing slightly sexy about it. That's just, it's hoochie. It's hoochie. I'm gonna call it what it is. It's hoochie. It's hoochie. <sighs> Man, looking back at this, I'm like, this was not a good experience. It was, it was not a good experience. It wasn't. Poof. Before I get into this last video, be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified for all my other videos. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at pure.joylifestyle because if I'm not active on YouTube, I'm definitely active on Instagram. And if nothing else, definitely in my Instagram story. So make sure that you're following me there. Alrighty, let's look into this last dress. Is it a winner? Let's see. Dress number... I don't even know. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I don't, I don't know what dress number we're at right now. I, I lost count at this point. But before I play here, out of all the dresses, this one was my favorite. This one was my favorite. She was, I probably like this dress probably about like an eight out of 10. Um, but if I'm going to be spending some money on a dress, I'm gonna like it. Not that I'm spending a whole bunch. This one was out of my price range. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a dress. This one was over a thousand dollars. I'm not spending over a thousand dollars on a dress. Not for something that I'm wearing for one time and that I will never wear again. A wedding dress is so distinctive. It's not like I, oh, I can wear this to the Christmas party or I can wear this to such and such as wedding. I can't because one, you shouldn't be wearing white to anybody's as to anybody's wedding. White, cream, whatever, bone, leave the color alone, stay out the family. Stay away from the cousins as well. And again, it's just, it's too noticeable. Like, it's just, it's just a very distinct dress. It's a wedding dress. So no, I can never wear this again. So I'm not spending all that money on a dress. And now again, if you choose to, that's your prerogative. But me, in my house, we will not, we will not be doing that. All right, let me play this video. So this dress, again, look at the back. The detailing, yes, yes, yes. I love that you can still see my back, but like it's covered, but then it's not. I love the way that I hug my curves in the back. I like the beads coming down. Um, the front of it was pretty too. I wouldn't prefer it to be see-through in the front. I mean, that was like a little too sexy for me. I feel like if my back is out, I want the rest to be covered, but I didn't mind it. Um, the material was kind of stretchy, so you know that was cool. And just to kind of play it again, Cause I don't know if you guys kind of saw it here, but like, look, you see the train. Ooh, look at that drama, drama and that lace. Now see this, this isn't old lady lace. This is more modern, new. Okay, you know, she's a younger bride. Now nah, she's not a young bride, but she's younger. That's what this is giving me here. And if you see the, the cups underneath, they're like a champagne kind of color. And I was just like, mm. If this was white underneath here, I think I would have liked it better and given it a different vibe. So, um, what we did was actually, there was a white one. They didn't have it in my size. So, if you see at this picture here, this is the wedding consultant. And she's putting the white on top so I could see like what the white underneath would look like. And I do like it better in that white color as opposed to with the champagne. And then this is just a shot here of what the back of the dress looks like. And again, I love the train. 
love, love, love this train. I love the drama that it's giving me. Love it. All right. So that was it. That's all the dresses that I have for you. I tried on about six, seven dresses. Um, overall, this was a trash trip. <laughs> I mean, I didn't find anything that I liked. Like, not one. There wasn't one that was just like, mm, I'm going to come back for this one. Or I'm even if I go look at two other stores, I'm going to still consider this dress again. Even though I said I like that last dress, an 8 out of 10, it was out of my price range. And I didn't like it enough for me to want to come back to it. And I didn't think that it was worth over $1,000. It's just me personally. Um, and maybe, maybe, maybe I didn't like it at eight. I might go like a seven, you know, let's, let's see. I need my dress to be, I need it to be an A. That's just me personally. This is an important day. It's a big day. I need it to be an A. Um, but yeah, I wasn't impressed. It was very, very crowded. It was busy. They only give you 60 minutes. Um, a lot of these other private boutiques, these bridal boutiques, I noticed that they give you about 90 um, and then, you know, with an additional 30 minutes, I probably could have tried on another three dresses and perhaps found something. I don't know. But this just, this just wasn't it. <laughs> it wasn't it. But the experience wasn't a total waste. I did find out that I definitely want my back out and that I do like a, a train. I would prefer a longer train, not too long, but a nice train with some detailing. I like a train. Um, Pete said he likes the idea of a train too. So at least I have some place to start as I go and begin my search, I am going to look at a place locally here in Tampa. There's another place I think I'm going to look at in Orlando, see what I can find. I've tried some online places, but thus far, I I don't know. I don't like the idea of buying something online because what if I try it on and I don't like how it fits? Now I'm out of money. So I think my best bet will be to go to a bridal store. And I'll take you guys with me for that journey as well. So stay tuned. Again, tap those bells for notifications because I'm not always consistent with when I drop. But the best way to know is to be notified. Thank you guys again for watching the video. And let me know which dress you guys like the best. In the comment section, am I being too harsh? Do I need to go back and revisit a dress? Are you like, no, Joy, yeah, that dress was bomb on you. It was fire. Or like, nah, sis, head to another boutique. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.